This is Understanding Fractions, Lesson 10.10. .10. When we split or divide an object into equal parts, one of the equal parts is a fraction of that object. We have a fraction bar, and that separates the top part from the bottom part. See that? And take a look at this circle. The yellow part is a fraction of the equal parts. It's one of the two equal parts. It's one half. You can look at this and see that it's one of the two equal parts. See how the one is over the two? This tells us that there's two parts and one of them is yellow. Take a look at this circle. It's in three equal parts. One of them is yellow. One of the three equal parts is yellow. One third is yellow. One part is yellow, and there's three equal parts. See that? Now look at this one. The square is cut into fourths. One of the four equal parts is yellow. One of the four parts is yellow. That's one fourth. See? The fraction has a top and a bottom. The top of the fraction is called the numerator, and the bottom of the fraction is called the denominator. You're going to learn more about that next year in third grade, okay? We can write the fraction for the shaded part of an object. We first count the number of equal parts. How many equal parts are there? One, two. We put that at the bottom. That's the number of equal parts, the two. How many parts are green? One of them. So that goes on the top, see? One is green, two is the number of equal parts. We have half. Half is green. We could even say half is white, couldn't we? Now look at this one. How many equal parts are there? One, two, three, four equal parts. So we're going to put that under the fraction bar. And how many parts are green? One. See? So that means we have one-fourth. Okay? Doesn't need to be that big. So one-fourth is green. Let's take a look at this one. How many equal parts are there? Let's count them. One, two. We write the two underneath the fraction bar. And how many parts are green? Just one. Half of this object, this shape, is green. See? One part is green, and there's two equal parts. Let's try another one. How many equal parts are there? One, two, three, four equal parts. How many are dark pink? Just one, right? One fourth of this rectangle is pink. Let's try this one. How many equal parts are there? One, two, three. How many parts are pink? One. One third is pink. How many equal parts are there? One, two, three, four. That goes on the bottom. How many parts are pink? Just one. That goes on the top. That's one fourth. Let's try this one. How many equal parts are there? One, two. That goes on the bottom. How many parts are pink? Just one. That's half. One half. All right? So just remember that you count the number of equal parts, and that's what goes on the bottom of the fraction. And whichever part is shaded or has a color, that's what goes on the top. Okay? The bottom is the number of equal parts. The top is the part that is shaded or colored. Okay? So let's try some problem solving. There's some apples that are for sale. 
and there's two different signs. One sign says apples half of a bag for a dollar. The other one says one third of a bag for a dollar. So which bag has more apples? Which is the better deal? They're both a dollar. So which one would give you more apples for your dollar? Well, there's two different choices, right? A half bag or a third bag? Where would we draw the line for a half bag? Well, a half bag would be this much, right? There'd be this many apples in the bag. How about one third? That means that there's three equal parts, right? So we have to draw three equal parts and one third is only one of them, so that would only be this much. But it says they're both a dollar. So which one would you get more apples? The one with half bag, right? This would be more apples. Half is more than a third. So this is the better deal right here. Half of a bag for one dollar is more apples than one third of a bag for a dollar. All right? The bigger the bottom is, the more parts there are. See? All right, we're going to move on and we're going to keep talking about fractions, but now we're going to talk about fractions that have more than one part shaded or colored. Okay? So the top isn't going to be a one, it might be more than a one. All right? Okay. I hope to see you there and I hope you're doing well. Bye.